and I hooked one. First cast, oh, this might be a different species. It's a little larger. Hey guys, welcome back to the Abbey Dalmas Fishing Channel. Today, we are gonna be doing some micro fishing. So, the rig we're gonna be using is a bobber down to small little size 12 snelled hook. And we're gonna be using tiny, tiny pieces of worm. See if we can get anything. Size 12 is about, for micro fishing, is a little big, but it should do the job. See how many species we can rack up here. Just casting it into the middle. Just gonna see if anything comes and eats it. Had a big rain on the last previous Monday. So you don't know how good the fishing's gonna be. Oh, I had one. I saw one take my bait. So I think it's gonna be pretty good, but I'll have to see. She's doing the same thing. She's got a nice little spot. Oh, she already had a hit. Did not be, oh. She's trying to hook and we're getting bites though. So the micro fishing, there is fish there. Just gotta wait for him to, all right. Oh, I had a hit, yep. Oh, I caught one. Micro fishing, first fish of the day. And I think this is a common, I think the fish we got here is a common shiner. I'm not sure, but that's the first species. Uh, yes, I'm very pretty sure this is a common shiner. See if we can get some more. We're gonna release this guy right here. There he goes. Yeah, our hooks are, are a little bit big for these micro fishing, but we will get into some fish. I prefer a size 14 or 16, but I've ran out of those, so we're gonna have to work with the size 12 hook. Oh, Ashley, she's on. She got her first one of the day. Here, show them to me. I got no clue what type, because I don't know what type. Another, another common one. Beautiful, common. I got it. Beautiful, another common shiner. Second of the day. I'm getting a bite here. It's very hard to hook them. They are hard to hook. We do have not great size hooks, but been able to hook two so far, and she got that one. Toss him back in, Ashley. Nice job. This is what being a multi-species angler is all about. This little body of water, it's been by our house for a while. We've fished it a couple times, caught some fish, and we're trying to document some species that we can catch in here. You just gotta try every body of water. Never think one body of water is not good enough or it won't work. Every body of water is worth a cast. Guys, Ashley's been getting some more hits in me, and I've realized my bait is not really sinking down to the bottom, so I'm gonna apply a little small split shot on my line. Small little split shot. That should hopefully help my bait find its way down to the bottom where the fish are. And I get a little split shot. Sink that bait down to the bottom. Let's see how this does. See if this improves my hookups or my amount of bites. Yes, I had a bite. Oh, another hit. Guy, no, no, my bobbers. Yep, definitely getting a hit on the. Uh... Oh, <laughs> Gosh. I just tried to cast and I hooked my pants. <laughs> that could. That could have been very bad. Oh my the god. Oh no, that could have been very bad. <laughs> well, could have tried to not let that happen again. But the weight is definitely getting more hits. So we've caught two common shiners so far today. Oh! <laughs> Ashley, she hooked herself in the head. Okay, I'll come and help you. Okay, you gotta get out and help her. Yep, you got it? It's All in your hat. Right. Whew, stuck in your, how'd you cast it into your hat? I don't know. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, 
We're out. <laughs> Dang. Dang. That was crazy, guys. I've hooked my pants in a region of my body that I definitely do not want to be hooked and actually hooked her hair, her hat. So, we're acting like amateurs out here. Oh, I got one. Yep. Feisty. <laughs> Feisty little guy. Oh. Is this a different species? This, I think it's a common shiner. But it does have these red fins. It could possibly be a red fin shiner. But that is the third fish of the day. And there you go. Beautiful little. I think it's a red. Yeah, I think this is a red fin shiner. So that will be the second species of the day. Nice. I, while well, Ashley Fish is there, I'm going to try on top of the bridge and see if I can get anything maybe under the bridge. Ooh, almost, whew, that would have been close. I almost stepped on some ground hornets. They flew out and thank God they did not sting me. So I'm gonna cast up where we were casting from, well, where Ashley's casting, just from the bridge. See if I can get anything. Maybe pulling it in a different direction. Oh, and she crossed my line, but we're good. We're out of the crossed line. Oh, and I hooked one. First cast. Oh, this might be a different species. It's a little larger for micro fishing. That's not very big, but. And what do we have here? Another beautiful common shiner. Been filming for 15 minutes. We have four fish. Oh, uh, that's my first one up here on the bridge. I'm getting a bite right here, and I got another. I don't actually. I'm getting a. I'm getting a little bigger school of fish. And when I when I say bigger, uh, these are probably three inch fish instead of the two inch. So this is probably a three incher and if you guys stay tuned for and still subscribe for the summertime I'm gonna come here catch some of these minnows and see if we can go over to the big lake right next to us the creek the larger creek and see if we can uh, catch any bass largemouth smallmouth uh, catfish stuff like that might go down this creek a little bit to possibly find some more species of fish gonna get a cast here it's very very juicy I caught one here guys I caught a fish oh fourth species it is a pumpkin belly red pumpkin this is a red breast sunfish beautiful well we might take a couple more casts here then so release him either third or fourth species of the day. We're not sure if that redfin shiner is a redfin or a common, so. Just gonna count it as four species. Just caught them on this little current drift down the way. So we'll see if we can get some more. Oh, I'm getting a bite. No, I'm just struggling to hook them. I need to pick up some size 20, size 16. I need to pick up some smaller hooks for micro fishing. My little sister found a freshwater clam. I'm gonna try for bait. Smash them open. Ooh. Nice little chunk of meat. Should go perfect with some shiners and chubs. Just a small piece of this clam. Oh, oh I'm getting a hit. He's taking it. He's hitting it. He's hitting it. I got him on the freshwater clam. On the freshwater clam, what do we got here? Creek chub. There you go. See the little freshwater clam right there? And a small creek chub. Ashley said she's gonna unhook it for me, so. She let it go. Let it swim into the water.
There he goes. Perfect. Nice. I was able to hook him on the freshwater clam. Right. Just showing, guys. Uh, you don't only you don't really need to ca uh buy bait. You can catch bait. It's so easy. Even catching bait is sometimes better than buying bait because these fish might be eating clams. Hello. And another video that we're thinking about doing in the future is a find your own bait, which is going to be a climbing the food chain challenge where we're going to catch bait, catch um, bait, catch smaller fish to catch big fish. So stay tuned in for that. Just keep watching the videos every Tuesday night. New one will be out. That's it for our micro fishing uh, extravaganza. Uh, we caught four species on this trip. The redfin shiner, the common shiner, the red breast sunfish, and the creek chub. So if you guys like the Abaddon Ash Fishing YouTube channel, make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned in for videos every Tuesday night. Peace.